I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Ravens come away with a seven-point win. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Packers pick up their sixth win of the year. The Colts won this contest, but will stay at the first place in the AFC South. Fred Taylor had yet another productive game, keeping his streak alive, but in the end, it wasn't enough to get the win. Dante Stallworth pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Saints beat the Cowboys. In the gentle climbs of the Carolinas, we had the Panthers bash their way to a 29-point win. Eagles, Redskins. Terrell Owens emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. The Eagles win this one by the final score of 46 to 24. Up at Invesco Field at Mile High, we had the Broncos fall by 10 points. The Patriots unleashed over 400 passing yards in the victory at Gillette Stadium. The Raiders lost on the road, but will get to head home and meet the Titans. The Buccaneers lost this one and will now fall to fourth place in the NFC South. Curtis, my favorite, Martin, had another fantastic week and in the victory kept the streak of landmark stats alive. Seahawks, Vikings. Michael Bennett is in the backfield. The ball is at the 40-yard line. And the lead man through throws a block. Shakes off one tackle. Bounces outside. It's now it's a foot race. The 10, the 5, touchdown. The Vikings go on to win this by the final score of 20 to 19. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Kelly Washington might be the biggest loss on this list. X-rays confirming the original diagnosis, it's a broken ankle. And that'll keep him out for the rest of the season. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Dan Morgan is probably the one that most leaps out at you. He's suffering from symptoms of a concussion, and he'll be out for the rest of the regular season. Now the big story of the day. Randy Moss will be on the sidelines for a while, and that is not good news for his club. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the 49ers pick up their eighth win of the year. Priest Holmes ran like a wild man and definitely helped his Chiefs beat the Titans. And last but not least, we had the Bills come away victorious. All right, Boomer, thanks. Time to check out our playoff races now as December is officially upon us. Let's start it out with a look at the AFC. Meanwhile, over in the NFC, the playoff picture looks like this. So there you have it, still plenty of intrigue left in this NFL season as the home stretch madness is only just beginning. And that'll do it from here. Chris, let's send it back over to you. That'll do it here for Pivotal Week 14. Things ought to get very interesting over the next three weeks, huh? Before we go, my primetime players' game balls go out to a few gentlemen that are pushing their teams toward the playoffs. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.